Hello, my name is Jason, but I'm going to go by Professor Snake Logic Presents for this show. I'm going to be reviewing, doing how to videos and tutorials. And this video, I'm going to be updating the firmware on the Sony FR7 Robo cameras. Sony added version 3.0 firmware for these Robo cameras. Now they have this awesome auto tracking feature. So I wanted to go ahead and upgrade all my cameras to this. And uh, first thing you're going to do before you get started is download from Sony's website the firmware update. All right, now go ahead and separate the lens from the camera body before we get to the next step. All right, I did go ahead and balance it pretty much. It's fine. I don't doesn't specify that in the instructions on the firmware update page, but can't hurt. Uh, I'm sure there's some ways to be better at networking these, but I found that turning the Wi-Fi off on my Mac before uh, it, it just doesn't want to connect to the local network that the Robo cameras are on. So after you download it, turn your Wi-Fi off, and then come back in, go into the proper menus, and then go to information and click upload. You'll find the file right there. It's gonna take about 30 minutes and you can just come back and check on it here and there. All right, so got all the firmware updated to version 3.0 on all three of the FR7s. Seems really cool. I've just messed around with the auto tracking and how you can set the framing and lead room and how long it takes before it doesn't have something and finds a new thing or subject to track. Um, also just, you know, went over real quick about this Corozeal uh, zoom motor lens controller that adds zoom to non-zoom lenses. I've got this 70 to 200 Mark II Sony lens. Looks just absolutely fantastic on these FR7s. Um, you can also put the uh, telephoto extenders on there, the 1.4 or the 2.0 times, to give you a little more range. And I've got a different lens to use with this setup to give me a little more reach. Um, but yeah, I really like these FR7s. I want to make some more videos and uh, review videos and um, just has, have things been a good investment for me or not? You know, I don't know. How's. Uh, are certain things carrying their weight of what I spent on them. So I do really like this setup. Um, if you're interested in having me come shoot some multicam things for you, let me know, get in hold of me. It's Jaw Rough Film. I'm Jason, but I'm calling myself Professor Snake Logic for these videos. I feel like this first one's a rough one and it took me a minute to get it out. Feels good to to just you know be working on it. It can only get better. Um, uh, what else? Definitely going to make another video soon showing these cameras in use. I'll have all three of them up and maybe have the multi-view somewhere and just have it tracking me. So, uh, hope I didn't miss anything. I guess a few of the other steps are, this is an important one, I'll get a tight shot of the back of this. There's these little dip switches on the back of the, these cameras and you want to make sure that number four is not engaged when you start doing this firmware update per Sony because it'll reset the IP addresses of the camera and some other things. So it just seems like, unless that's something you need, try not to have that. Um, but uh, leave some comments for me. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.